No, she's dead. <laughs> thermostat, coolant, out thermostat. Where have I put that bolt? Where have I put that bolt? That is much use as your chocolate fire guard thing. <laughs> Ah! Heard about the biscuits, you know me. Anyway, finally, 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 my thermostat for the 940 has arrived. Would you believe it? I was only waiting a month, I think it was. I think it was a month. Uh, the first one got lost in post. Thank you, Royal Mail, shafting me as always. He was like, oh, do you want another one? Or do you want me to just slight like, refund you? And I was like, bro, I need a thermostat. Send me another one. The 940 has been leaking coolant from the thermostat. Um, well, I noticed that once when I noticed the oil leak, which was like, seems like forever ago now. I think that was like the, before the start of this lockdown. So that's probably about two months ago now. It literally feels like forever. We'll gloss over the fact that because I work in hospitality, I've got another two months of this. So... Woohoo! Can't wait for that. Yeah, so the thermostat is here. It's got a brand new seal on it. And today we're going to change it. It seems pretty straightforward. Have I ever done it before? Have I bollocks? But it looks pretty easy. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you where, how it's leaking because I'm going to turn the car on. Hopefully it starts. She did start the other day. She had a bit of a cough and a splutter, but she did start the trusty Vera. Now, because she has the bigger injectors, she does she will start a bit funny anyway so like when you start you have to just like feather the throttle a little bit and she like kicks up to life otherwise it just cuts out because it's got bigger injectors in but i think i have faith in her she's a good girl no she's dead she's dead shit so lo and behold she's dead um the battery's died no surprise it's my own stupid fault i should have disconnected the battery considering the fact that this car's not going to be moving for a very long time did i do it did i bollocks it's one of them things where i'm like oh yeah yeah i'll do that later i'll do it yeah i'll do that tomorrow that's fine i'll do that tomorrow it's not the end of the world obviously because i don't need the car to be on but i would have quite liked to have checked afterwards to make sure that it wasn't still leaking i'm sure you all know what a leaking thermostat looks like that's not the most exciting thing i'll give you a brief description thermostat coolant out thermostat where coolant should not be out thermostat we're gonna change it we're gonna do it so there it is you can see where it's been leaking out and it's been dripping all down there this is not what we want we need to clamp them off i'm clamping because i am not draining the whole system of coolant there we go this one just need to do that one a little bit too small but fuck it be right right now i just need to take those two little bolts off and we should be good and now i'm a lazy bitch i won't take the cover off the car because i can't be able to put it back on so instead of just taking the cover off and then opening the boot i'm being a lazy cow and doing this instead um yeets job at home basically a gymnast let me tell you that i'm fucking not not at all actually it's a lie apparently these bolts are 10 mil and you can bet your bottom dollar that i have lost 10 mil socket it's got a 10 mil would you believe it probably won't by the end of this video i was half expecting these to be knobheads to get off but they're actually all right would you believe it Crazy stuff. An old Volvo being easy. Well, they're actually very mechanically easy, but because everything's the way you need it to be and you've got loads of room. But the worst bit is that everything's always old and crusty. Oh, I say this one was a little bit of a cheeky bugger. With a bit of WD Dizzle persuasion, she's off. And it's pissing coolant everywhere. What a surprise. 
Right, so as expected, obviously, with clamping the hoses instead of actually draining the system, you are going to lose a bit of coolant, but it's not going to be enough for you to worry about. Take that off. Take the old thermostat out, which looks very crusty and disgusting and minging. God knows when that was last changed. And there she goes, look at that. That is you versus the man she told you not to worry about. Pop that in and put it all back together. There is this like green, don't know what that is. It looks like someone's, it's been leaking and someone's tried to seal it. Whereas, just get a new thermostat, bro. Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean all this up because it's literally got shit everywhere. And then I'll put the new one in. Put the new one in. Oh, it's still got shit on it. That on there. God, professional me. I've just, it just dawned on me that I forgot where I've put the bolt for the first one I did. You never learn, eh? Where have I put that bolt? Where have I put that bolt? Where have I put that bolt? Ah. Got him. That is much use as your chocolate fire guard me. Two hours later. This one's a little shit, this one. Come on, so we tighten up. Right, so she's all tightened up. New thermostat's in. Old thermostat is there. One crusty boy, seal on it, see in better days. See you in a bit. I mean if you wanted to do this and not lose any coolant at all, you drain the whole system, but fuck that. So Obviously, with clamping it, you are going to lose a little bit of coolant, which you can say I have lost some as, you know, when you start to loosen it off and take it off, whatever's here is going to come out. Oops, didn't want that anyway. Fucking hell, let's put this one on a bit tight. Do. Yeah, job done. I'm going to top up the coolant. I've got some lying about somewhere. And... That's pretty much it for that. It's a bit annoying that I, you know, I can't turn the car on to check that it's all right. Um, but I'm probably going to jump start it. I'll, pro I'll jump start it tomorrow or something to make sure it's all right. But I can't imagine there's anything wrong. The engine has been dripping bits of oil at the bottom. Now, with these engines, um, it's quite common that this little box down here, which I don't know if you can see, that one there, that little black box there is a PCV box. That is very very well known for getting clogged up and just basically full of shite. Like that being blocked up causes pressure in like the head and then this causes the rocker cover seal to you know give way and then the crankshaft seals as well. I am not touching that um, because there's, there's the back one and the front one and with the front one the cam belt's got to come off. Do I look qualified to take cam belt off? Absolutely not, I'd rather die. Um, <laughs> So those two, I'm going to get done properly and we're going to get the cam belt changed because I have no idea when it was done. But the rocker cover seal is fairly easy to do. I've actually managed to get, um, these are really, really fiddly to get to. So yeah, there's one bolt there, one bolt there. Very fiddly to get to. Um, some people say, oh, you, you know, take the whole manifold off. <laughs> Bollocks to that. But then some people are like, if you persist persistent enough, you can actually squeeze it through this gap. So. We're going to try and get it off and we're going to try have a look inside of it and see how much of a mess it's in yep those two bolts are out now if you can see on the top there is a little connection i've already taken it off and that is this pipe here so just pull that off and then you should be able to get the box out the only issue is is this this, this plate here so that's actually on top so what we need to do is move that out the way look move that out the way and then pull the box out um it's pretty fiddly but can be done 
we go so that's that off uh, it's quite easy to be fair it's not as hard as i thought it would be it's literally just a case of pulling that back and then just wiggling it out on the top there where that hose would have been connected um it is not looking good now i fully expected it to look like that and i imagine if we open this box up and um, look inside that is what we will see all horrible horrible stuff like that all right so i want the box now you should have put my gloves back on fucking hell mate come on get your fucking gloves on boys right box so the top of it looks super crusty and minging so i'm going to guess that the pipe which connects to that is the same so i'm going to take that pipe off as well and i'm going to have a look in there and then clean that out and at the bottom there you can see there's like a little seal um so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and get that seal off and i'm going to replace that now i was going to replace the whole box but i've had a look inside of it and it doesn't actually look that bad so i don't think to be fair I, I don't see much point in replacing it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean it instead i'm going to um shoot some everyone says brake cleaner i don't know if i've got any um i'm gonna have a look um probably shoot some brake cleaner through it just to get rid of what is in there um but yeah it, it doesn't look that bad at all hopefully with a good clean and a new seal on the bottom it should sort it out a little bit uh, there we go i've took that seal off um so i'm gonna i'm gonna get a new one of those and i'm gonna replace that i've no idea when this was last done um god knows but it is a common issue on these so it's definitely worth doing it's most likely to be the cause of what has caused all the other leaks i'm gonna have a look at those pipes as well and then um i'm gonna order so i'm gonna as well as ordering the seal for this i'm gonna order a new rock cover seal because that's fairly easy to do um i don't know why i didn't order one before I should have done but i didn't um so yeah i'm gonna order a new one of those and then i'm gonna get that done as well right so here's the pipe that was on the top and as expected it is a bit grim in there um so that's gonna get a clean out as well but yeah you can see down here look at the state of where the bottom of that box was it's disgusting all definitely needs a clean so that's all gonna get cleaned up and obviously that that seal is where that bit sits there so it'll be all nice and sealed up that's it for today basically there's not much more i can do at this point partly because i need to order that seal for the bottom of that pcv box and i am also going to order a seal for the rock cover they're two of the seals that i can do myself obviously the the camshaft and like all the cam belt and stuff like that i am not touching that because i ain't qualified for that shit but i'm going to order those hopefully they won't take too long to get here um but yeah i'm pretty happy with what i've, what I've got managed to get done today i've managed to get the thermostat done uh, that should be all right now seal on this one has uh, definitely seen better days it wasn't doing anything um so hopefully that's fixed that issue if not i will cry many tears of sadness and despair and you'll see this car on facebook marketplace <laughs> joking yeah, I managed to get the PCV box off, which I did actually try to do a couple of months ago, and I was being a little beach about it, so I didn't actually do it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with getting that off. And it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to do, so it means we don't need a new one. I mean, they're not the most expensive thing in the world, but money's money, in it? Oh, God, it smells. Whew. It smells like engine. Put ears on your chest, that. Like, doing the rocker cover and fixing this back up will make, you know, more content for another video, so... That's what we're going to do with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not the most interesting engine work you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> but it's something actually doing something with a car for once instead of just sitting in my car and chatting bollocks. Um, I've very much missed getting my hands dirty, very much so. I absolutely love doing stuff myself. I love like that accomplished feeling you get when, when it's like you do something yourself. It's a very good feeling. So I actually started today in a very bad mood. I was just fuming moping around the house sulking and i'm in a very good mood so winner winner chicken dinner hopefully in the next one we'll either be sanding the car or fixing those the rest of the engine bits uh so yeah see you in the next one